Let's take a look first at upwelling ecosystems. As we talked about in Chapter 9, upwelling is produced by Ekman Transport. Remember, winds blowing along the coast of California from the north are transporting water off at the surface towards the west. And in transporting that water off towards the west, we have upwelling. And it's that upwelling that brings cold, nutrient-rich water to the surface that stimulates the growth of phytoplankton. As a result, upwelling ecosystems are among the most productive in the world ocean. They contribute 10% of the world's primary productivity and 20% of the world's fisheries catch. I think in an earlier lecture I said they contribute 10% to world fisheries. Let's double that number. 20% of the world's fishery comes from upwelling. So one ocean phenomenon, that blowing of the wind, moving water offshore, upwelling nutrient-rich water, stimulating the growth of phytoplankton, that bottom-up control of food webs that stimulates the growth of everything in the upwelling ecosystem is 20% of our fisheries, our global fisheries, is due to that process. Well, here's figure 14.9 from the book, and it lists the major upwelling centers that we find in the world ocean. It also shows you the wind patterns that lead to the, that upwelling in the world ocean. 